Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video on the Audi A1. It's actually a little bit embarrassing, but I've turned this thing on on my camera where I'll automatically delete uh, large files older than 30 days old. And quite a lot of you in previous videos actually said, Rob, what was the A1 doing on the back of your truck? And I did actually do three minutes of video in there and it's all gone. So we are starting this one again. The last time you see this car, we said the next time we're going to be seeing it, it's going to be going off to the paint shop. Surprise, surprise, it's back. <laughs> now, I did actually film loading it on the truck, started the video, etc., etc., and that has all gone. So we're back to square one on it. But as you can see, guys, it is all now in the correct colour. It's so nice to finally have this car back into this condition where it's all painted and it's all the correct color it did look like they didn't need painting in some elements of the video but these were all a completely different color white they was more like a gray white from an s line and then we had that issue where this front end that we bought from silver lake actually come with xenon headlights they're completely different plugs it's a whole heap of pain trying to get xenon headlights to fit a normal headlight car so what we actually did was i chucked those headlights on ebay for 500 pound and we sold them and then eddie come through to us but these only arrived one of them only arrived yesterday so it's all worked out okay because chris said we don't want to crack on with this one until we've got lots and lots of the parts we're now ready we think we've got enough to get on with a video so we're going to bring it in the workshop first thing just arrived is a new hub for that front wheel because it's been like that been like that ever since we put this car back together so let's get it in a workshop crack on with that and do a load more little bits to it I think you've got it mate it certainly looks like it's sitting where it should be now so that turned out to be that hub all along and yeah. we changed the leg but i suppose it was no one told us how to turn the leg isn't it yeah Very it was good hub bins. it was good practice to change it all i suppose yeah, it like did so. have quite a wallet wait well, it didn't have no suspension wallet did it really it was all the chassis on this one we will include the first ever pictures when we got this car. Yeah. What a mess. Look at that bottom lulling out already. Let me zoom in a little bit more. So we'll include them now and I'm going to pop out and get me and Chris some lunch. I don't know what day everyone's going to be watching this, but Claire's been off to Portugal with her mates for a week. Me and Chris have been living on Nando's, me trying to attempt to make us lunch and <laughs> yeah we're going to go and get something nice today so I'll leave you with Chris, he's going to crack on and get some of these wing brackets and other little bits on. Is 
isn't that finally lovely to see as well? Chris done the passenger side one there and I've done the driver side one. Just piecing this one back together slowly but surely. There was many, many cups of screws and parts for this one, Chris, wasn't there? Yeah. We'll certainly be getting rid of a lot of them cups after this one's back together. So I just went through there, checked all of the lights. There is so much adjustment on these headlights. Literally, you just crack these bolts off, crack these little star drives off, and there's so much movement in it. So there is a little tiny step in the light there, but it's matching the one that Chris has done the other side. Once it is all back together, we can still adjust those to where we need them. But so far, so good. There is one little bolt in the back of them, and we've not put those in yet, purely down to the fact that we may need to adjust them. Chris cracked on earlier on, didn't actually film it, fitted all the grill, secured that back in the bumper properly, fitted those side lights in there. So I'm just going to move on now to actually fit those covers We've got those there, get them fitted, and then we can test fit the bumper. And if that goes on there quite nicely, we'll bolt that up and that can stay on there as well. But really cracking on with it. pause there guys to say a huge thank you again for the continued support in supplying these check car vertical this car had such a, a bad whack on it we never did a check back then when we got the car and i thought that i would bring it to light today and show you guys because me and chris actually flicked through it and it was very very interesting and i know you guys will find this one interesting as well because it does give you a bit more in depth of what it does check so mileage okay theft okay accidents and finance now i've looked into the finance one that has been settled and it's been removed but the accidents is very very interesting on this one so when we scroll a little bit further down you've got all of your usual stuff there like ownership changes mot history services that it's had at the dealer and anything else on there like advisories etc so damage detected 10th 2021. Oh, it's actually got that one there as well, which is damage detected United Kingdom, the 5th 2021. And would you believe that was some marks that car had on it when it was for sale at a dealership. Car Vertical has picked that up and actually noted it down as, yes, it has previously been damaged, even though it wasn't claimed on the insurance. We got our mileage graph there and everything is going in the perfect direction for some reason it wouldn't show it on landscape guys but that was the top one there i was showing you and there's the one that's actually recorded there and it says written off category s motor vehicle can be repaired obviously if the repairs are done correctly so i want to thank car vertical once again for the continued support on the channel to benefit from a 10 percent discount off your check use the link in the description or the code sr10 from any browser Let's carry on, put this one back together. And that is the front bumper secured. You would have seen me on the time lapse. I was actually struggling really and it was holding off. And I couldn't quite work out what it actually was. So that is the phone backing from an original Audi A1. But of course this car has now got the Audi A1 S line on it. And it's completely different to that. It's a lot thinner and it's got hooks on the end that actually hook it into the bumper. As soon as I put that on there it went in perfect so all of the latches catches rather back on washer jets sound deadening pad i've put all of that on and chris is actually in the paint booth doing something else once he's finished that he's going to come out with me and do the headlights get the headlights a hundred percent but 
so far so good we did have a problem with the bonnet catch on this one he's just pulling it and it wasn't doing anything at all so i've just popped the little arm off you just pull the pin out the side of it got the pin down there on the floor and this is the mechanism it goes on you can see the cable sits in here and then the little ball sits in the end there and it's actually snapped so we need to just whip round and get one of those that's got a part number on it probably shared with a lot of other cars but i'm going to get it up in the air i'm probably not bother filming this bit i'm going to fit the wheel arch liners and actually secure the bumper just around the back edge here where it does secure but it is really really coming along let's carry on there guys like i said i wasn't going to show it end up doing the wheel arch liners and showing you both of those but look how lovely that car is now very very nice little car still some very very minor tweaks to do so if you look on this very very edge and then follow it all the way along it's probably really hard to see on camera but that gap there is quite tight and it gets just a little bit bigger this end so just wind that down the rubber that side or wind that one up or vice versa just to get that absolutely bang on but this wheel arch line is done as well wheel bolts all talked up center caps all in there really really moving along with it need to go down to the breakers yard i've got one rubber bung missing for the uh wiper arm for the scuttle panel i've just put the wiper arms on there the bonnet cable pole we need to get one of those and right on the very very bottom of this bumper there is like a black panel that actually clips to the bumper and then bolts to the underside of the car that does need to be on there because also the wheel arch liners bolt into that piece as well so i'm going to get that ordered now but of course we're probably going to try and get it all in this video because i'm waiting for those parts i'm going to move on plug this in and see if i can do something about resetting that electric power steering because it's still got no power steering at the moment like i just said a little bit earlier on in the video there i was going to try and get that steering sorted guys and i can't seem to actually do it and we are waiting for that under tray thing and i'd like to get this video uploaded and it is something that we can do in the background there's nothing going to stop this car from me putting a few miles on it so what i am going to do is whip over to a friend of mine who's real good on the computer get him to reset the steering and calibrate it and then we're going to go from there for tracking and also for an mot for the first time this car's been out for a very very long time let's get it over there and get that steering sorted out it's going to be quite hard to drive without any power steering because believe it or not it is quite tough you really do appreciate it once it is working let's get over there and get it done mot's all done no problems there whatsoever and aircon has been regassed that's blowing nice and ice cold now just pop straight to a2 tires get it on there get it tracked up and i suppose give it a clean i didn't notice till i started driving i had the windows down in the yard oh i've got it down now it's actually still got a load of writing it's all quite worn off but there is still a fair bit of writing on the window there that we need to get cleaned off but i suppose we we'll get it all nice and cleaned after so far so good so we just chris just come out i've just actually fixed the bonnet pole i went down to marks the only audi a1 he had in there was completely stripped and the only thing left on it was the bonnet pole so we've now got that done and that is everything i think chris did just come out and clearly pointed out to me i actually had to, <laughs> i actually had the wiper arms on ran the wrong way so i had the short one this side and you all would have seen earlier in the video 
me putting them round round the wrong way and saying that they look good. Also, the bungs around the scuttle panel. The Audi doesn't actually have any. Because I've just been down to Kent Autos. He's one there, didn't have any on it, and the wipers were bolted on. So, I'm now going to whip down and actually have this one washed. I think this is going to be the last video on it, Chris. You want to crack on with the numbers, start digging the receipts out? Let's go down and get it clean. There's the turn up for the books. To all of those people that said, will you and Chris ever finish the destroyed Audi? Guys, I'm so glad I'm saying this. It is finished. Yes, I've got to put on that little bumper trim and a couple of other minor little touches, but this car is finally, finally back together, running, driving, MOT'd. I just noticed as well, it's actually free road tax. So I'm going to tax it and I am going to run to and fro in this little car for the next at least a couple of weeks. I even put the clip in this video. You see how hard this had been hit in that front corner there and pushed everything right across. But hasn't that turned out to be a lovely little car? Let's zoom out a bit. Doesn't it just look lovely? And if we remember, those wheels were black and we decided on a refurb, we was going completely original. Now, this car's had a lot of paint work as well. It's been painted right across the front end and right down both sides. We didn't get the back bumper done or the boot lid and the bumper has got that little tiny black scuff on it that we will be obviously touching up. But very very happy with this one and i didn't think i'd be saying this this week let's go inside and crunch the numbers sorry i nearly uh went in there i've just had a mini valet done 20 quid's worth look at the difference inside that car it is completely different and just so i don't forget 39,969 miles what a lovely little car. Guys, honestly, I don't think you realise how happy I am about sitting here right now doing this. It is such a relief to get it done, to be honest. And yeah, we've all, sorry, my chair keeps moving there. We've all seen it in the back of a lot of videos. It's been going on for quite a while, but we was trying to do it as cheap as possible. And of course, sourcing the parts, fitting in other projects. We do, I know quite a lot of you did enjoy like the series on the Mini, where we just went bang, 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 one after the other, but it can't always work out like that, and we do like to chop and change while we're waiting for parts. It was literally, everything just fell into order with that car. So, let's do the numbers. It's gonna take me a while, it's quite a big list. No, we will be as quick as we can. So, purchase price. Those of you that watched it from day one, I think we included the actual auction footage and couldn't believe it, £900, and they let us have it. So with the fees out the door, come to 1134 Just shows you that's how long ago we bought it. The fees was cheap. For, I think February, Chris said we bought that, so it has been around a little while. The key, plus the programming, and that was Aiden come out, £240. The S-Line parts package from Silver Lake was £1,500. So we actually paid more for that front end and airbag kit than we did for the car, which is incredible. But sometimes, quite often, that is how it works out. The service parts, uh, sorry, no, the car that we picked up from Sheppy Salvage, the parts car that we cut all the legs out of, 250 pound. Four wheel refurb. Now this one is interesting because we kept using them and, I, and we, I said, can I have a link to your website to put in the description of our video? Absolutely not sponsored whatsoever. Next time we went there and we'd been putting their link in, 
they said, oh, we've got a couple of people come through from, from the link from you guys. So they actually said, just call this set 100 quid. So they put them Audi wheels from black back to silver and they was all curbed up, all of them, 100 quid, which was lovely, really, really nice of them. We had to have two new tyres and that was 80 pound. The headlights, now, with the headlights, obviously we'll get into the Xenon bit later, but Eddie actually give us one and we had to buy one headlight and that was 70 pound. They're not expensive because they are halogens. Seat belts went off to the airbag team. They looked after us, done us a trade discount, 80 quid. That was for the two front seat belts because the airbag kit that we got from Silver Lake come out of a four door car and the seat belts are completely different. They won't fit, well they'd fit in, but where the mounting points are from, they wouldn't work. Brand new second hand battery from Kent Auto Salvage, 20 pound. Paint and materials, this is just what we spent on Chris doing it in the paint booth, all of the, you know, because he painted all in the engine bay before we put it back together, a hundred pound. The painter really, really did us a favor. Well, that's what I said to Chris earlier, and he went, to be fair, Rob, the car was prepped. It was ready to bag up and paint, but he did paint nearly the whole car, 850 pounds. So if you deduct out what he paid for paint and how long that took him, it, 850 is probably a really reasonable price. Uh, tracking, I've just had done, 20 quid. Believe it or not, it actually weren't even that bad. He had to tweak the passenger side wheel, minimal, and it was perfect. Um, MOT, 40 pound. Aircon gas, 40 pound. The bumper lower section has still not arrived, but we have ordered it brand new and it was 100 pound. I'm gonna be doing that in the background. Suspension plus brakes, all of that, all the new lower arms, steering rack ends, all of it come from Comline and that was a sponsored video, so it was all free of charge. Number plate, we put a new one on the front, 10 pound, only because I thought that we didn't have one. And you can probably just about see it, we did have it, it's in that box in the back, over the back there. Mini valet, I've just had done, 20 quid. A couple of things I wanna point out in the video that you guys would have noticed, and they've been done as well. So the little tweeter cover by the handle, that was in the last little bit of the video you just watched. That literally just needs clipping in, so I need to clip that in, um, and a couple of other bits. I know people are gonna pick up on it and say, what about this, what about that in the video, but rest assured, it is all being sorted. Um, so we've got a couple of birds having a fight on the roof there. We got a total price of £4,654. And I'll say this and I'll say it again. I never actually really look at the cars until it comes to this point when selling it. And I know in the Citroen C3, I kind of didn't even get time to look. Then I did look after the video and I've put little bits of writing in there. But 4654, I said to Chris, God, that's a lot of money. So are we gonna do a right out of this one? Well, I guess we are. 4654 minus 500 quid. I sold the Xenon headlights on eBay. So now we've got a total of 4,154 pound. I've just flicked through eBay. Sorry, I'm just reading what Chris has written here because he's not feeling too well and he's he's finished for the day. I've just had a flick through eBay. Nine to twelve thousand pounds for one of them cars. That's what they're going for, and that shocked me. It is a 2016. I didn't realise that they was up near that mark. There is a oh sorry, the steering. It's just come to me. I sat there and messed around with a computer and said to Chris, I can't do it, I'll leave it. And then when I got in the car and started it up, the steering was working, so I had done it. That was the bit I wanted to include. So there's one on there now, you're welcome to look. On eBay, just type in 2016 Audi A1. There's a category S blue one, done 76,000 miles, and it's on there for 6,900 pound. Of course, we always wanna try and beat anyone on there. That has done 76, that's done 34,000 miles by the time I've finished with it. And we're gonna ask six and a half grand for it. What a cheap little car, 
considering it's worth between nine and 12 as a straight car. The nine grand ones I looked on there are around 50,000. The 12 grand ones are 20,000 mile cars. So put that one wherever you want. I know a load of you are gonna say it's too cheap, but that's what we want for it. And that's gonna give us a pre-tax profit of 2,376 pound. And I think you'd agree, that's a good profit. That's nearly two and a half grand out of that car. Has it been sat here way too long? Absolutely, we wouldn't take that away from anyone. That has been sat here too long, but it's all there now, it's all done. Like I said to you, I'm gonna drive it for the next few weeks. I know a lot of people can't help it and they jump straight on, Rob, I want it, ring me as soon as it's ready. We do not work like that. As soon as I'm happy that car is ready to go, I'll put it on Instagram, and of course it'll be first come, first serve. You'll have to reach out to me on there, showing you interest, include your mobile number, and I'll ring you back in the order they come in. So if you don't follow us on Instagram, follow us at Selvage Rebuilds for Chris's little holiday museum visits and little bits and pieces he puts on his Instagram. is Selvage Rebuilds Chris. Like, subscribe and share. Put your thoughts in your comments in the comment section down below and we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.